Hey everyone, it's Mike again, just feeling, giving another update video which I'm going to try and do for these now. I think this might actually help with people seeing my overall progress on the project. So it's been a little bit of uh, time since the last video which I think if I remember rightly this was all unpainted um, and uh, well first stages basically. But this is now coming to the first uh, section of the uh, the set. Um, this is the base coat. This is where has it disappeared to now? Um, Artist acrylic uh, paint burnt sienna, and this you can get from uh, B and M bargains, which is for one forty nine in the UK. Uh, whether there's a similar product out there or not, I don't know. But this um, has worked so quite well so far. Um, the filler that I used to cover the rocks after doing the plaster bandage on most of this has, it sort of worked, it hasn't, um, I'm not sure if you're able to tell. Um, on the front here, this is just filler. And I think this gives a really nice rocky texture coming downwards. It's not quite how a cliff should look, I think, personally, but it's probably the best of what I can do with the time that I've actually got. And then this was the cliff that I originally started off with. Now, I put the striations in, but I don't know if they're actually gonna come out as well as I thought they might do. So I'm gonna give this a try and see how it does when I do a, a dry brush coat. Uh, and then what I'm probably gonna do after that is uh, sp uh, either score actual lines into the, uh, the, the filler texture with a serrated kidney um, kidney dish or uh, either just leave it as it is and just hope that the paint job itself works but overall it's starting to look the part now um, and I've got the there's an example um, yeah there we go just grab this one so I've got the trees to do next so that's these beasts um i think they're about two feet long which are all cast from the original branch which i'm pretty sure i covered in a youtube um, post or a twitter post at some point um but the plan that i've got for these these need to be custom designed with branches which are just basically recycled plastic pieces um and then they're going to be primed and hopefully i've got a friend coming over next week that is going to help me paint majority of this so if I can get the set more or less down to its basic element before detailing and she can do all the, uh, the, the minuscule jobs on these then that will be fantastic and then either because I think she's down for two days uh, either then she takes over the detail on the set for that for the next day and then I carry on with um, detailing these and priming and what have you um, but uh, one thing I'm going to make a note of, which I don't know if um, anyone will be interested in doing. Originally, I was going to be using uh, MDF pieces to sit the tree on the set like so. And then I quickly remembered that MDF is actually a toxic wood. So to remove all this material to make it look like it's roots coming up into the tree, is not really an advisable thing to do. And although I'm working in university and there are facilities here to uh, to use extractors and so forth, they're not always open, especially now with the degree show coming about, I've not got access to these buildings. But what I have discovered is, because this is actually screwed in, what I can do is actually thread the screw through the uh, perforated sheet underneath the board and then just screw up. So keep this base, screw up into the top and then it actually holds it in place. So that hopefully should eliminate the need to completely remove this base altogether. So it's not complete waste of material. It's a new uh, new angle that I'm working on. But um, but yeah, so it's uh, it's just a bit frustrating, if anything, because it just means I've wasted a little bit of time getting stuff together. But never mind. I've also got these fern pieces, which are quite nice. So these are going to decorate the bottom of the set. Uh, cut them down to scale as I've said before but they've also come in individual pieces so um, they were about a five a fiver I think they were from Hobbycraft so you probably get them cheaper from elsewhere but we'll see on that front but yeah overall it's starting to look the part I just need to like I say get this uh, 
uh, base coat dry first. It's quite warm in here. I'm already uh, sweating in places I, I care not to sweat. Um, and yeah, should be ho hopefully having a, at least something a bit more recognisable uh, in the next week or so. Um, if you felt if you think these videos are a good idea, please leave a comment in the uh, comments below. I if it helps you see the progress that I do, then I'm more than happy to at least try and make an effort for you guys. Because I know when I post stuff on Twitter, I think I just get lost in the crowd. And when I post stuff on Facebook, it's great if you're friends, you get to see the work. But either that or again, it just it gets lost in in the filters for the groups. I think. Um, so if actually seeing video evidence of this sort of stuff would be helpful, then yeah, leave a comment or a like or whatever. Um, and in fact, the other thing I can talk about now while I'm here is that I have uh, uploaded for um, wire sculptures that I did back in 2015 for Jurassic June, um, a, a sculpture a week. And I've now finished those completely and they're on Etsy for sale. Now, I've rated them basically at a weekly wage. So they're not, they are expensive for what they are, but they're expensive for the amount of effort and time that's gone into them. But also for the week, that's probably what you would expect to pay for any artist for, for a week's worth of work. So I know not a lot of people can afford them, um, but I am happy to sort out some kind of a payment scheme. If not through Etsy, then at least through maybe PayPal or something, depending on what it is. But, you know, send me a message or, you know, send me a private message on Twitter or anything like that. You know, just get in touch with me. Don't try and get in touch with me through Instagram though. Uh, the Windows phone that I use doesn't support Etsy anymore. So there's literally no point in sending me a message because I won't get any kind of notification about it. And I can't even read direct messages on there anymore. So I, Etsy is no longer a, a, a private option for me anymore. It's just literally I paste the photos on there and that's it. Um, but apart from the sculptures on Etsy, uh, my uh, GoFundMe account is still active. So if you want to donate a little bit of money, doesn't matter if it's a fiver, uh, 10 pounds uh, recently had someone uh, donate a hundred pounds which is very generous of them uh, which has helped out with actually finishing off this section of the set which is really really good um, I'm just now literally coming down to the scraps now to uh, to finishing off the paint side of things and the brushes and what have you so hopefully it should all be good and dandy so yeah um, so go to uh, go from me which is uh, Mike Tham uh, MA degree uh, on GoFundMe. Just either donate, share the share the campaign, anything you want. But yeah, if you just anything helps at this point, I'm literally coming to the end of the course now. October is the deadline, so I've only got a couple of months. Well, I've got this month to get this set and the puppets made, and then uh, July and August to film, and September to edit. Um, Anything else after that point is uh, is either uh, not great news for me or uh, I, by some miraculous extension, I managed to get an extension uh, for an additional week or two, but it won't be much. But yeah, any kind of help, guys, you know, share donations, you know, posting the thing in the group, you know, even a comment with a, when you share something saying that, you know, you you see potential in the project, you believe in the efforts that I do, that you can see that I have skills and the talents and vice versa, you know, anything like that, you'll be more than appreciated. Um, I'm doing all the best that I can, as I, as you can see, but, you know, there is also a time when just a little bit of help is, is also very much appreciated. So, yeah. So I shall wrap it up there. Uh, so it's not a lot to see, uh, as you can tell, but hopefully it should give you some ideas of, uh, where I'm at at the moment. So hopefully I'll see you guys soon.